Hi guys, welcome to another episode of AJ Blade Reviews. So we're here today because we are going to be unboxing a package from Malaysia. So remember Jay, the my friend that is helping me with the uh, cookery vlog. So Jay helped me with the basic background, the history, uh, things that we should know about the cookery. So we have been talking for some time and of course uh, normally we knife guys like to share pictures and eventually it will come to a time that we will decide to have a trade so here we are and we had a trade so I asked Jay if he had something traditional so um, he sent me this blade uh, it's called a chai thong it's made by Banok Knives of Thailand uh, Banok Knives is owned by Witaya Chaos One, so I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but uh, he is from Thailand. Uh, a little background: Banok means people outside the city. So if you guys want a blade from Banok Knives, here's their Facebook page. Okay, that's Jay. So <laughs> speaking of the devil, so they also have an Instagram account. Uh, okay. Here's their Instagram account. Uh, you can contact them directly if you're interested to buy a knife from them. So, let's move on on unboxing our package. So, we have here our trust, trusty balisong. It's our 10cm balisong from Abest. Actually, Kueramon Batan gave this to me. So, let me just focus this. Okay. Mm. No, 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 no. We can show that. <laughs> I didn't notice that the tip of the this balisong doesn't have uh, an edge. It was blunt. Maybe because I don't know. So I'm shifting to another blade. I also noticed that Banok knives make hollow hollow handle blades. So I'm curious if they have a direct link to the Igorots. So, let me show you the pictures I saw. It's from Banok Knives too. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe the culture is somehow traveled. <laughs> Just like how Taiwan have the socketed handles, so Thailand might have those too. So, okay. I hope I'm not breaking anything. Jay said he included something else, so let's just see what's in here. Yeah. yeah. Usually I will talk in Tagalog, but this time I won't since some of our international friends are watching. So it's for them. So to my countrymen, I'm sorry if I'm not speaking our language. By the way, this knife came from Doc Michael Cabato. Uh, it was a gift from him. Thanks, Doc Mike. The Tensi Embalisong was a gift too. So.
Okay, there we go. Bubble ups. Okay. So fingers. Oh. Yeah, Jay is. Uh, another of Jay's hobby is carving spoons. So let me just put it there. So Jay carves spoons. It's one of the other hobbies I would like to learn. You know, because hmm, spoon, we, we use it every day. So Jay, thank you. Okay, we have here the knife. It's the Chai Tong. You know what it reminds me of? It looks like something Dom C. Barranco would make. There you go. That's the branding, Banok. Interesting. It looks like these are threads that are waxed into place we have here I think this is rattan it feels waxy so I think it's wax and the handle the same thread and rattan <coughs> the ferrule is brass it's covered this wood with a belt loop so you can attach it on your belt Here's the knife. Also has the branding Banok. So wow. My spine work. You know it really it really reminds me of uh Domsi's work. Domsi is from Panay Island. So yeah. Beautiful blade. Let's have a quick measurement. Okay, let's weigh the blade. So overall weight, 178.9 grams. The blade alone weighs 122.5 grams. Okay. Nah, it wants to bite. <laughs> So, the wood reminds me of something like the, I'm not sure. The blade is 4.25 inches. The handle is 3.75. And the overall length, uh, with the blade inside this cupboard is it's uh, 8.5 8 inches so I have here a tool that is used to measure the angle of uh, grind on the edge uh, to an, uh, my friend from Vietnam uh, suggested me to use this so thank you for suggesting it to an. So what you do is, you uh, you should see that the bevel uh, you will see that the bevel will match if the uh, both side of the edge is resting well on the sides of the tool. So right now, what I'm seeing is the grind is about 20 degrees or 
Yeah, I think it's about 20 degrees. Less than 20. So I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it should be less than 20. So it's a thin knife. So the thickest part of the spine is about 3.55 mm, so it's really thin. It's best for uh, slicing work. So the handle feels nice on the hand. So there you go. I don't know if how you hold your knife. You can hold it like this, Japanese style. <laughs> if you're cutting something, you can hold it like this. If you're fighting someone, you know. So Jay, thank you for sending me this. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope I can send your blade soon. I know you've been um, trying to get them there all at once so I hope you get all the bleed you want <laughs> and yeah there you go that's uh, Chai Thong a traditional bleed from Thailand uh, Jay is from Malaysia but but the blade uh, the Chai Thong is from Thailand okay So we're going to a lunch with some friends and maybe along the way we're taking some nice videos of the knife. So are you willing to be a model? Again. Yeah, of course. You're a girl. You're beautiful. You should yeah. be the model. So will you? Will you be my model? I do. See, I do. I will. Let's see. So it's my... What do you call that in English? Godson. Godson. Because yeah. godfather. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's my godson's birthday. And we're having lunch at this... I don't know. Is it a resort or restaurant? Resort. resort. A resort. Okay. So we're going to a party. Why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's a pity party, so we just drop by. And eat lunch. Eat their hand up. <laughs> and then and go. Their, yeah, yeah. And we'll eat some, and, and, we'll eat and run. <laughs> <laughs> and take some of their hand up. <laughs> yeah. Typical Filipinos. Eat and run. Eat and run. Yeah. Pinadala nung ano, tropang Malaysian. Kamukhaan. Tura kasi nung nung blade. Diba? O, Lexi. Saka pa yung chef's knife yung dati. Ano siya? Yung dati? Eh, ako ano nakita niyo? Ay, butcher knife. Ay, malaki nga yun. Baka yun yung malaki. Ay, masan. Baka. Medyo matabang ganun. Ay, masan. Ito! Sabi ko na yung vlog eh. Sabi ko na pwede yung vlog to eh. Buti na lang hindi ko pa na kukuchilyoin ko na sana lahat eh. Sa mga emergency sa saka na mga lechon. Pang lechon talaga eh. Sa pesta mga sabihin ko isang lechon. Tapos, oh, di, maganda yung kuchilyo nila eh, Jay. Testing.
just a recap uh, so I use this uh, on a bit it cuts cleanly so it's very sharp uh, also I tried this on paper earlier uh, it cuts with no uh, not, not much noise so that means it's really sharp uh, smelling the wood it smells like uh, our nara so I asked Jay what kind of wood this is uh, this, the sheath the sheath is made of uh, rosewood ah, no 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 the handle is made of rosewood and the sheath is some, uh, some kind of thick thick wood so the, the sheath it smells like nara so if you guys are familiar with the wood nara is a very uh, familiar smell especially uh, I work on nara wood I've been working on some sheath uh, I know how it smells it really smells like nara so I wonder if they have or they share uh, similarities um, overall I like the blade I think this will replace the blade I use in butchering rabbits so thank you Jay for this knife uh, if you're interested to buy uh, you can contact Banok Knives so they are based in Thailand and of course they can ship internationally uh, so that's it uh, thank you for watching guys see you in my ne next episode bye bye